guess who's back? Dusty's back. Thank you to my viewers and subscribers who have stuck around while I had to take a step back from doing reviews for a little while. I am back, and I've uh, I've really been looking forward to uh, doing more of these reviews. I just just haven't had the chance due to um, due to the nature of of my work. Um, but I'm looking to bring you guys some new content um, with a little bit of uh, twist to it. So uh, let's go. Hey guys, welcome back. So one of the things I wanted to incorporate into the channel was giving these bourbons, whiskeys, and rice a letter grade on top of the initial review. Um, now again, these reviews and letter grades are of my own personal opinion. Uh, so we're going to start with the letter D. Um, that is going to be Dusty's Drain Pour. Yes, I do own bottles that I consider to be a drain pour. However, I would rather use them in a cocktail before pouring them out. Next is going to be letter C. That is going to be the dustbin. These are bottles that will sit around my shelf, collect dust, that I will go to every now and again. Uh, letter B is going to be Dusty's Daily Drinker. These are going to be bottles that I buy regularly, uh, that I visit regularly. Uh, I'll share with friends. Uh, letter A is going to be Dusty's Cabinet. These are bottles that I typically find to be special I kind of store them away, go to them on more rare occasions rather than drinking them on a daily basis. And the A plus that I give is going to be Dusty's Hall of Fame. Uh, these would be considered to be my top 10, top 20 bourbons, whiskeys, or rice that I have tried all time. Hey guys, so one of the questions that I was asked regularly while I uh, had to step away for a little while was what are the top five bourbon, whiskey, or rye that I am currently drinking? Well, here they are. All right, guys, so one of the bourbons I have been drinking uh, while I've been away is the Wild Turkey 101. Now, I'm sure this falls under a lot of people's lists as their daily drinker, as it does mine. Um, this high rye bourbon from Wild Turkey is the perfect balance of spicy and sweet. Let's go ahead and get into a couple notes here really quick. Yeah, so on the nose, spices. You get cinnamon, allspice, vanilla, caramel, a little bit of nutmeg. There's also a little bit of uh, citrus notes, some, some lemon lime, kind of that, that shine through there. A little bit of a little bit of oak on the back. Let's get into the taste. Yeah, I mean this this really covers it it is it is a perfect balance again of of spicy and sweet. Uh, as soon as the as soon as it hits the front of your palate, you get some of those spices from the high rye. As it goes down, a little bit of a little bit of citrus develops there on the on the side of the palate. Um, again, some maybe a little bit of a lemon, lime, vanilla, caramel follow through. Um, this isn't something that is overly complex. It doesn't have um, uh, a depth of of flavors to it. Um, this again, the spices on the palate. You get a little bit of cinnamon. I'm not getting a lot of the allspice, or I'm getting a lot of the the nutmeg um, on the palate, like I did the nose. Um, you get, like I said, a, a little bit of the spice. I think that's that's coming from that high rye. Um, again, as it goes down, um, the, the vanillas and caramels kind of stick with it. Um, medium to long finish for this. Um, but for the price of, of the Wild Turkey 101, um, this has to be on your top five that uh, you should be drinking. All right, guys. So the second bottle on my top five list of bottles I've been drinking while away is this Old Scout. Uh, five year straight bourbon whiskey. It is a pick from High Time Wine Cellars. And this is distilled in Indiana, so it's going to make that an MGP. Uh, let's go ahead and get to a couple notes here on the nose. Yeah, so right away, it's uh, I get a burnt, like a burnt caramel on the nose. 
a little bit of like a, a new leather smell. Get the, the, the vanillas are there. You get a little bit of a um, of a berry uh, in there too, like a strawberry or a raspberry. A little bit further away from the glass. Get a little bit of oakiness, uh, a little bit further into the glass. Let's go into the taste, guys. Cheers. Yeah, so boom right away. Um, some of that high rye coming out of there, very spicy on the front. Starts to smooth out as it as it goes down towards the back of the palate. Um, now this one is a little more uh, complex on on the palate, has a little more depth of uh, of flavor. So so front of the palate again, you're getting a lot of the um, um, some rye spices. There's a little there's a, there's a little hint of of honey on the front of the palate that kind of goes and and follows through all the way to the end. Um, you get the vanillas, you get the caramels. There's there's other spices that I'm picking up in this, but I'm I'm almost getting a like a. Um, a really dry wood um, oakiness to it. Um, that's more towards uh, the back of the palate. Starting to develop on the sides of the palate. It's a little bit of darker fruits, maybe some some plum. I pop some there on the on the sides of the palate. A little bit of plum, maybe some raisin. Um, again, this one offers a a little more of a complex um, palate uh, and nose. Last sip. So, again, uh, very spicy on the front of the palate. That spice kind of does travel through. Honey sitting there on the front. Uh, definitely uh, in a nice oak flavor that kind of follows all the way through. Um, those are really the, the standout um, notes that I'm getting um, from this one. All right, guys. So the third bottle on my list of top five bottles I've been drinking, by the way, is Jim Beam's newest release of Old Tub. Um, this is bottle and bond and comes in at a hundred proof. Let's go ahead and get some notes real quick. Yeah, so, so right away I'm getting, um, some vanilla, caramel, uh, pepper, a black pepper. It's a little bit of fruitiness to it. Um, I think it's more, definitely some, some, some citrus in there. Yeah, slight hint of oak. I'm not getting a lot of like not getting a lot of oakiness on this one. A little bit of honey. There is some there. There's a little bit of nuttiness. Uh, a little bit further into the glass. I think that's more of a typical gem beam. Let's get into the taste, guys. Cheers. Yeah, so this one the the palate really kind of matches the nose. Um, so right on the front of the palate, a little bit of spiciness um, follows through. Um, it's actually it actually coats the palate quite well. The flavors aren't bursting through here though. Um, it's not something that is again overly complex. Um, finish is is short to medium. But but the flavors that are there is uh, again it's it's a nice citrus that kind of sticks over the whole palate. Um, typically I don't get a lot of citrus um, on the front or or in the in the back of the palate. That typically sticks uh, to my sides, and I love citrus in the bourbon. Um, so this one uh, it's just been it it covers the whole the whole palate with the citrus. Um, again, it's still a little bit of pepper. The vanilla and caramel is there. And again, there's that, there's that nuttiness though. I don't get that on the front or the back of the palate. That's more towards the finish. When I get that, uh, the, um, the nuttiness note, 
as it goes down. Um, it is, it, it's a little bit spicy and I think that's, that may be coming from, um, that pepper note that I'm getting. Um, spiciness is mainly just right on the front of the palate though. Um, but for the price of, of Old Tub, um, this is something that I plan on going and buying, um, a second and third bottle of. Um, it's a, it's an absolute hit for the price. And, uh, this is why it's been in my rotation for the top five I've been drinking, uh, while away. All right, guys. So this is the number four bottle of my top five bottles I've been drinking while away. Um, this is a bottle I've had for quite some time now. Uh, this is the Jack Daniel Single Barrel Barrel Proof. This is a store pick out of one of my stores up in New Jersey. 130.1 proof. Um, in my opinion, the Jack Daniel Single Barrel Barrel Proofs are the most underrated single barrel barrel proofs on the market, hands down. Um, let's go ahead and get some notes, guys. Yeah, so, so on the nose, you're getting a, a nice vanilla, a really bold caramel, spices, a little bit of floral, um, which is something I don't typically pick up in, the, in a lot of bourbons, whiskeys. Definitely a floral note to it. Some oakiness, some leather. Really just nice, rich. A, a lot of the a lot of the notes that I'm picking up are just really rich notes on the nose. Let's get into the palate, guys. Cheers. Yep, so that proof kind of hits you right away. Um, some spiciness right there on the on the on the front and the middle of the palate from that um from that proof. But it, it dries you out a little bit, but then comes back with this beautiful cinnamon note that kind of follows from the front to the back uh, some brown sugars some leather some oak yeah caramel and vanilla are there kind of those underlying flavors um the again the the, the cinnamon the leather the brown sugars those are really the um the the standouts in this one um so in my opinion, if you guys can go out and find a bottle of the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof, it doesn't have to be a pick. But again, these things, in my opinion, are the most underrated single barrel barrel proofs on the market, hands down. All right, guys, so this is my number five bottle and my top five bottles I've been drinking, by the way. Uh, this is the Pikesville Rye, and this one is coming in at 110 proof. Uh, let's go ahead and get some notes here. Uh, so beautiful, beautiful rye spice, just just right away. Almost uh, maybe a little a little hint of mint in there. Some nice vanilla, citrus. A little bit of caramel. I mean the the, the caramel vanillas. Uh, they're there, but not, 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 um, they're not standouts. The citrus, the rye, that's what's really grabbing my attention in this one. Let's go to the palate, guys. Cheers. Yep. For, for a rye, um, for, I, I've gone through three bottles of, the Pikesville and one thing I could say about it is the consistency between each one of these bottles um, it never changes it is it is very 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 consistent in flavor um, again very nice rye spice just right on the front of the palate just kind of sits there um, for 110 proofer it is kind of viscous it has a medium to long finish vanilla caramel the citrus notes that i get on here they cover the front to the middle of the palette go towards the finish the finish i start to pick up a little bit of almost a little little bit of that mint um that i picked up uh, on the nose it's not a very uh, dominant note but it is it is very very faint the 
this doesn't drink like 110 proof. Um, this it drinks almost like a 90, maybe to 100 proof, if that. But but again, that uh, that the viscosity of it, you know, it, it does kind of linger around your palate a little bit. Really kind of sticks on the on the tongue. Those citrus notes I get from this this Pikesville, absolutely fantastic. A vanilla, caramel. It's weird because the spiciness I get a little bit a little bit on the front, but this one kind of develops more towards the back of the palate. Um, the spiciness and the, the caramel vanilla are there. A uh, little bit of that mint maybe on on the back, but it's really that rye spice and that citrus that are just dominating over everything else. Um, again, for 110 proof rye. That is just consistent uh, bottle after bottle. Um, that is why this Pikesville is in and my last um, top five bottle I've been drinking since I've been away. And thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews and the top five bottles I've been drinking while away. So if you're new to the channel and looking for reviews of Bourbon's Rise or some of those Dusties, hit that subscribe button and bell notification to be alerted of any upcoming reviews or live streams. You can also find me on Instagram at Dusty Dance Whiskey Reviews. Until next time, guys, stay dusty.